Hey, this is Mark Spoonauer at Laptop Magazine, and today we're taking a look at Mac OS X Mountain Lion. And the whole idea of this operating system update from Apple, which is coming out this summer for consumers, but it's available today for developers, is to bring more of the goodness of the iPad to the desktop without completely blurring the distinction between the two types of devices. We're going to walk you through all of the best new features and show you what, what we like and what we don't. So one of the highlight features of Mountain Line is that you have iCloud built in and it's deeply woven into the OS. And there are certain things that you could do before, like see your photos with an iPhoto. Um, but now you can see that iCloud is more front and center in how you deal, especially with documents. So if you look at an application like TextEdit, you'll see that there, you can toggle between documents that are on your Mac and on iCloud. And this will work also with the iSuite applications that Apple has, like Pages. So if you save something here, you'll be able to access it on your iPad or your iPhone, make changes, and then everything will sync up so that you can always be working on the latest version depending on what device that you're working on. So, And the other cool feature that it's bringing over from iOS is that you can drag documents on top of one another and automatically create folders, uh, which is pretty neat. So the whole idea is just to make iCloud more seamless and more connected when it comes to multiple devices that you might be working with. So, but iCloud doesn't just stop there. What you're also going to see is that it's going to be integrating with other applications like Reminders. So if this looks familiar, it should. So it's a very, almost like a carbon copy of what you'll find on the iPad. And if you create Reminders here and you have an iCloud account, it'll automatically sync up with the iPad itself. And the same thing goes for Notes. And, but Apple is actually going the extra mile here where you're going to be able to drag in photos and URLs. And so Notes on Mountain Line is going to start to compete with Evernote in terms of the functionality and the versatility of it. Uh, and again, if you make changes here, you'll be able to see them on your iPad. Okay, so one thing that a lot of people are going to notice right off the bat when they play with Mountain Lion is that iChat has been replaced with messages. And you know, for us, that's a good thing because it integrates... Uh, instant messaging, and you can also send text messages to other people who are on iOS devices, but they could be multimedia messages too. You can drag in photos. So for example, this is something that we sent just yesterday, and you can just drag them in from other applications. So it's like sort of like having an MMS conversation with all of your iOS buddies. Uh, but you can also integrate with FaceTime. So they're separate apps still, but you'll see this little icon in the upper right-hand corner. So provided the other person has a FaceTime-equipped device, you can have a video call with them. So all you have to do is click this. We're having some connection is issues, so we have our friend Mike already up here. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mark. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? All right. So, uh, so this works uh, with anyone who has... Uh, right now, you're on your iPhone, Mike? Yeah, I got, I'm on my iPhone 4S. Right. So it's anyone who's running iOS 5 that has uh, FaceTime, so this could be an, an iPad, too, as well. Uh, thanks, Mike. No problem. Take care. So it's a really neat feature in the sense that, you know, Mountain Lion integrates messages and FaceTime sort of into one seamless experience. Okay, so one of our favorite features of iOS 5 was Notification Center, which just like Android allows you to look at all of your alerts that are coming in at any given time and organize them. So if you remember, that, you know, it's pretty easy just to see all of your alerts coming in in one place. But now Apple is bringing this over to the desktop too. So when you have incoming alerts, they're going to flash up here as little banners and they'll appear for about five seconds and then disappear. But if you don't get to them, you have a couple of options. You can click this button right here or you can just slide in on the touchpad from the right side and you can see all of your messages, you know, missed FaceTime calls, calendar, email, and anything else that Apple opens up to developers for people who want to use the API for the notification center. Um, and what's great is that even if you're in a full screen app, let's say something like iPhoto, and you have an incoming uh, notifications, you can just sort of s slide this off see what your notifications are, and act on them. So let's say, for example, if you wanted to go into the calendar, it'll open that application, and it'll you know, jump right to the app for uh, whatever the alert is, and you can act on it right then and there. And you can also see, see how the, ba the banners are coming in? And they just sort of slide off the screen. And it makes it really easy for you to just sort of see what's coming in uh, without being too distracted. The other cool thing is that with Mountain Lion is that if you get bombarded, if you feel like you're getting bombarded with a lot of messages, you can set up what's called a VIP list. 
so that you can only have messages show up in your alerts from people that you deem the most important. And all you have to do is just star someone who's coming in, and they're going to show up in this VIP list over here. So it's a really nice way to sort of not get deluged with information. So a lot of people are under the assumption that uh, Mac OS 10 is uh, so super secure that Apple doesn't really need to worry about security, but they are, and they're rolling out a new feature in Mountain Lion called Gatekeeper. And when you go under the settings under security and privacy, you'll see three options when it comes to allowing applications downloaded uh, from the web or the Mac App Store. By default, for the developer preview, the option is going to be anywhere. So you're going to be allowed to download, just as you are today, anything that comes in from the web. But when this rolls out to consumers, the default choice is going to go to Mac App Store and identify developers. And what that means is that developers out there are going to get a developer ID, which means that if you download something from them, it's trusted by Apple and therefore it should be secure. So just as an example, we downloaded something from the web. And we're going to show you what it looks like, you know, what happens when you try to install something uh, that isn't signed or, doesn't, or something that doesn't yet have a developer ID. So you can say, it says here, you know, Adium is not from an identified developer. You should move it to the trash. It's, it's not going to have this exact language when this rolls out, you know, to consumers. But the idea is that Apple is literally working as a gatekeeper for the consumer to make sure that they don't have something that could be malware showing up on your system. You know, by the time... Uh, this OS launches, Adium and a lot of other apps like Dropbox and others should be added to you know, the so-called whitelist or, or safe list. But this is a good way to demonstrate how the feature could protect you if that application was un from an unknown developer or someone who wasn't trusted. So because we're at such early stages, there's a couple of features that we couldn't show you in Mountain Lion that are going to be available for developers and eventually for consumers. One is AirPlay, and if anyone who has used an Apple TV before with an iPhone or an iPad, it allows you to stream anything that's on your desktop to your TV, which is really neat because it could work not only for movies and photos, but also for iTunes content. That's a feature that's going to be rolling out soon. Uh, and the other thing that's going to be cool is that uh, with Game Center coming to Mountain Lion, just as you, know, you have with the iOS devices today, you'll be able to discover new games, uh, compare your scores with friends, and also get notifications up here if someone wants to ch challenge you from their iOS device. So we saw Apple, you were playing a game on here while someone else was playing on their iPad or iPhone. So I think what Mountain Lion is really trying to do is tell a better together story with iOS devices uh, and Macs, like the MacBook Air, without blurring the lines between the two devices. And it's completely different from what Microsoft is doing with Windows 8. But we kind of like the balancing act here. Uh, it doesn't feel like you know, the iPad tacked on. You know, Apple has really figured out a way to integrate and weave these applications into the Mac OS and giving it an iPad feeling uh, without overwhelming it. And so far, we really like Mountain Lion. So stay tuned for our full review of the OS when it comes out.